Prepare to discover the captivating town of Conway, an absolute must-visit destination in Wales. With charming streets, a range of activities and delicious fish and chips by the sea. Yeah. And a good. Try one, trust me. It's the perfect place for an unforgettable day out. Does life get any better than this? All right, good morning guys and welcome back to another video. We're up bright and early this morning and feeling rejuvenated after our very long walk yesterday. I'm panicking. I, I want to go down. Long but good walk. It was bloody brilliant. But before we go into town, grab a coffee and breakfast, we want to have one last look around Mount Snowdon and the surrounding area. So we've got up nice and early at sunrise and we're going to have a little walk around. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Went to the only place we know that does coffee this early, a spa, and got a takeaway Costa. Delicious. <laughs> and sitting Pre at premium breakfast. Premium. And we're sitting in the car whilst we make a plan. Wow, this is cool. Look at that. I know. Okay, so we've just arrived in the town of Conwy which has some really cool things to explore. So we're gonna spend the next few hours at least exploring this town and we're gonna get some lunch or breakfast or maybe like brunch. Perhaps Whoa, brunch. brunch. Conway is a small town located in North Wales, known for its well-preserved castle and historic walls that surround the town. It has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its rich cultural significance. Already this is the cutest little town that we've been in in quite a long time, isn't it, Gaz? Yeah, it's really, really cool. Like, really cute little houses. It's right by the beach as well. And then it's got two main attractions, the first which we're heading to right now. But it's just very quaint and uh, very adorable, I'd say. Right, so we've spotted it in the distance for anybody that can't see it. So the first tourist attraction here in Conwy is the smallest house in Britain, which opens at 10 o'clock and it's actually £1.50 for adults to get in. So we might come back and have a look in it. It's only like nine o'clock now, but let's measure it up against my body, shall we? So. About Should four and a half spins. About, about four spins. <laughs> but it's definitely really small and that clearly no one lives in it if it's open for tourist attractions, but pretty, pretty fun thing to come and have a look at just on the beachfront. So you can see all of these boats along the harbour and they actually do cruises that start as well. There's one that starts at 11 further down here and this one at 11.10 and like an old it's like an old sail sail fishing boat or something. Yeah, it looks like there's loads of like fishing trips, cruises, yeah. little boat trips you can do, which is sick because we love a boat trip. We do love a boat trip. And for such a small town, there seems to be loads of touristy attractions here, which is pretty mint. To the castle. So this, well, the main tourist attraction here in this town, which is the reason why we've come, because we saw a picture of it online, is Conway Castle, which has dramatic views across the bay, the sea, this tiny little town, and it's absolutely massive. So we're going to go in there and check it out. So we've just got our tickets. It was £11.40 for an adult, which is fairly reasonable compared to Newcastle Castle, <laughs> which was pretty expensive for what it was. But yeah, it looks really vibey and we're excited to go and have a little mooch around. Constructed in a mere four years by over 1,500 workers, Conway Castle proudly stands with 21 turrets, eight towers and two barbicans. This fortress, built in the 13th century under the reign of King Edward I, is a true testament to the power and might of medieval engineering. It was extremely impressive to look around and there was so much to explore, but the best bit was definitely to come. Blessed with another gorgeous day as well, aren't we? We've picked the best weekend of the year so far for this. Yeah, literally, it's stunning. Should we go up the Northwest Tower? I feel like the money shot's where the beach is, isn't it? It is, it is. 
Look at that view. So we've spotted another view tower higher than this one, so we're going to try and aim to get to that one. You can see it there. Get to the highest viewpoint. The highest viewpoint in the castle. Sorry. Thank you. I'm about to go down. Why? Yeah, like it up here. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at the top of the chapel tower. So be careful to get up there. You have to climb really high up a dark windy staircase, but it is worth it, even though I'm clinging on for dear life to this railing. The views at the top are absolutely stunning. It's like the clearest day of the year so far. And this view alone has made it worth £11.70 in my opinion. But now we're gonna go and walk along the famous walls which we saw from the castle. We thought you could access it through the castle, but you actually have to leave and then go back up. So we're gonna head there now. Conway City walls stretch almost uninterrupted for three quarters of a mile and offer stunning views of the town and surrounding countryside. Nothing really much to say about the city walls, but a nice little walk along to have a, a view out onto the countryside. I know, getting quite bored of all these good views in Wales, aren't you? I know, God. God, we're spoiled for choice. <laughs> So we've booked onto a half an hour sightseeing boat and we're going on the down river one which is at 11 o'clock and it just goes around the harbour and around the views here but if you want to go at one o'clock you can go up river and it takes you to see views of Snowdon but just due to the timings and we're here now so we're going on the 11 o'clock one. And we did climb Snowdon yesterday. So. And we did, we've already seen it, completed it but we've not seen the harbour by boat. We love a boat cruise but it is very busy. Timed it to perfection didn't we? Yeah we've crammed loads Just finished the castle come down it's like three minutes to saw everyone queue for the boat but let's jump on the boat sick that some unbelievable views and they also had one of those people who like speak facts as you like driving around but quite some interesting ones about a fish smelling like cucumber anyway next stop is it was only half 11 but we've been up since 6 a.m so it'd be rude to not get fish and chips when you're at a seaside town I think would it, it would be criminal it would be criminal so, so abby's twisted my arm i will get fish and chips look how it's bouncy isn't it oh, i thought that was you earlier so we are currently trying to find somewhere to sit and have a pint outside but as you can imagine bank holiday Easter weekend sunshine nowhere to sit for outside pints apart from there maybe Ooh. no Got the How come you got two glasses of wine? Who's got the goods? Because you got a large, so it didn't fit in the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I got you two larges. <laughs> He's got the goods. He's got the goods. So just at the harbour, we've grabbed a pint at the Liverpool Arms. It's a really, really nice pub. It's got its own little beer garden, but there's actually public like picnic tables, which are all along the seafront or the harbour front. So we're just chilling on here. We've got some food on the way and uh, we're having a pint. Buzzing, actually buzzing. Clearly the world's smallest house has become very popular now and there's a huge queue. Ta -da! The second lot of goods. The second lot of goods. I'm the bringer of goods today. Yeah, you are. We have a gluten-free cotton chips love, a mushy piece to share, and a glutinous one for me. <laughs> Dang in. That's bloody massive. Yeah. Does life get any better than this? We're at a nice, gorgeous seaside town in the blazing hot sunshine, glass of wine, 
unreal fish and chips, which is massive, and just watching people walk past. I'm not even joking, we're pretty much on cloud nine, especially after yesterday's challenge. This place is definitely a vibe. We would highly recommend. Kind of reminds me of Whitby. Yeah, it does. It anyway, does. we're in a very good mood. Time to tuck in. Yeah. Are they good? Try one, trust me. They're so good. Try that one. Oh my god. Try that one. Do that one and ketchup. That'll be a good one. Good, aren't they? Oh yeah. Right, that was absolutely bang tidy, I have to say. Now, the one final thing to do when you're at a seaside town, and what's that, Gaz? I hope you're going to say ice cream, which I've been moaning about the whole day. Yes. What flavour are you getting, Gaz? Rum and raisin. Are you and actually going to? Mint. Yeah. And mint? Rum and raisin and mint in the same pot. Lovely. <laughs> Conway has been absolutely amazing. What a surprise this morning. We were kind of I'm in an hour in where to go. We chose here and we've had the best day ever. We actually have. It's been really like surprisingly good. So would highly recommend if you're in Wales to come pop to this little seaside town. Loads to do, loads to see. Um, unreal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, would 100% recommend. Anyway, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Here's mine. Should Abby let me have a chip? No. <laughs> Give me a chip. Look how possessive she gets over food. She's like bloody what's its name? Gollum over the the ring of power. You, you Give me a chip. I'm you, heavier than you. You scoff all of yours in five seconds. I want to enjoy mine nicely. I'm starving. Okay, I just no. have that one chip. Yes, I'm being serious. Please. Oh no, she's scared. You're winding me up. <laughs> Get back! You're such a fat shit. You're greedy. <laughs> No, you're annoying me. <laughs> She's genuinely getting annoyed for me. <laughs>